Have you ever wondered how a nuclear reactor gets its fuel? Recently, a US nuclear reactor has made headlines for switching from regular to premium fuel. Southern Nuclear inserted four lead test assemblies into the Vogtel Unit 2 reactor in Waynesboro, Georgia. This marks a historic first in the US commercial nuclear energy sector. Nuclear fuel often seems straightforward, but it's far more complex. Unlike shoveling coal into a boiler, nuclear fuel requires refining and enrichment. Natural uranium is mostly uranium-238, which doesn't produce energy. To achieve nuclear fission, uranium-235 needs to be concentrated. Now, natural uranium consists of only 0.7% uranium-235. Most modern reactors typically use low-enriched uranium, containing 3-5% uranium-235. But submarines use highly enriched uranium, which can reach 20 to 93 percent. This allows for compact reactors, capable of extraordinary power output without needing refueling. Working with Westinghouse Electric Company, Southern Nuclear aims to bring conventional reactors some advantages of next-gen technology. They are testing high assay low enriched uranium, HALEU, fuel, which contains 5 to 20 percent uranium-235. Until now, HALEU has primarily been for research or experimental designs. The nuclear industry is evolving. Commercial tests within the U.S. Department of Energy's Accident Tolerant Fuel Program seek to utilize new enriched fuels to enhance performance and reduce waste. This isn't simply about increasing uranium concentration. Producing highly enriched fuel requires entirely new manufacturing processes. Adopt fuel developed by Westinghouse, is a significant breakthrough. This fuel includes uranium-zirconium or uranium-aluminum alloys to improve heat conduction and reduce harmful gas release during reactions. Enhanced designs, such as LU plus ADOPT, can even manage up to 8% enrichment, optimizing conventional reactor performance while lowering refueling needs. The ADOPT fuel pellets were carefully manufactured in England and shipped to the Vogtel Unit 2 for testing. These four assemblies will be monitored closely for performance in response to radiation during reactor cycles. According to Pete Senna, Southern Nuclear's CEO, this technology could enhance the entire U.S. nuclear fleet's resiliency. With enriched fuel, reactors can operate longer and generate more power, meeting Georgia's growing energy demands. This development underscores a pivotal shift in nuclear energy. Keep an eye on future advancements in nuclear technologies as they unfold.